Good morning, Second Swingers. It is now Thursday, July 8th, which means today is the first day of the U.S. Senior Open. Uh, my tea time today is 12.55. It is now closing in on 10 o'clock, and uh, yeah, I got nothing better to do. These late tea times are the toughest because it's you just gotta gotta figure things out to do, right? So let's go on a dive through the golf bag. Uh, I did promise to do a what's in the bag, so well, let's do that. All right, so here we go. Here is the bag overall. Um, obviously, we've got second swing on here, and I am also uh, supporting a wonderful new company called Red Rooster Golf Gloves. Uh, they, for every glove that they sell, uh, they donate one to youth programs, and I think that's an absolutely fabulous way to uh, support the game and grow the game. Um, I think they're awesome. The gloves are fantastic. Uh, they hold up really, really well. They look great. They got different colors. They got different styles. Um, just really, really good stuff. So I'm very happy to be uh, able to support them uh, as well. So let's start with a big stick. So. We have Cobra Rad Speed. Um, this is a, a new driver for me, um, getting into the, the current model line with Cobra, uh, which is awesome. I find the performance to be really quite exceptional. Uh, I'm currently playing a nine degree head set at minus one D, so I got a little bit of draw bias to this. I wanna make sure this thing turns over. So I've got her at eight degrees. Uh, you can see that I've got the weight, the heavier weight in the back, making the head a little bit more stable, a little bit more forgiving. Um, I did do a little bit of a change to this and took the 12 gram weight, which was standard, out uh, and put eight in. <clears throat> I find that I like a little bit lighter weight better. I have paired this with a Fujikura Aventus 6S. Uh, shaft. I find that the X is just a little bit more than I really like to, to try to fight with. I find that it's, uh, I just find that I'm working too much. So this one does have the, this is the real deal. It's got the Velocor tip to it. So it's very, very stable at the bottom. Um, I've been very, very pleased with the way this golf club has performed and the way it's felt. Um, the load and unload of this shaft is very, very good. Uh, I think Cobra's done a fantastic job with the, the look, the feel, and the sound with the rad speed. Um, I think overall it's just really an exceptional, exceptional driver. Uh, next up in the bag, we've got, uh, <laughs> now working on about two and a half years with this guy. Um, this is the uh, Epic Flash Sub-Zero. Uh, heavier weight in the front to drive the spin and trajectory down a little bit. You can see this is a 13 and a half degree head that I've got cranked down to 12 and a half degrees. Um, given the issues that I've had, if you've been following me along, um, you know, uh, I need something that's kind of a, a driver replacement. And uh, so far, uh, hasn't been without attempts, but I haven't been able to find anything that, that's performed better than this Epic Flash Sub-Z. Um, its companion piece is the five wood, and I also have this one cranked down. So it's an 18 degree set at 17. Again, weight forward. Um, you know, I hit this one really well, and I've been I've been relying on it pretty heavily. There's a couple holes out here at, at Omaha Country Club that um, that this is actually the perfect tee shot, and it's also a really good one for a couple of the par fives if if uh, if I can set myself up in, into position. So we do have a new kid on the block here. Um, this is Cobra's King Tech Hybrid. Um, I've been bouncing back and forth in the five iron, between five iron and, and four wood with all kinds of different stuff. I've tried driving irons, I've tried irons, I've tried hybrids. And honestly, I'm not that huge a f fan of hybrids overall, but they just seem to be the one thing that does what I want it to do. So uh, in this game, it is all about getting it done and this is gonna get it done. So uh, I did make a change from the uh, 2013 TaylorMade Rocket Ball Stage 2 Tour that I had in here. It was a three and I had it cranked up to 20 and a half and it just, I just still hit it too far on too many occasions. So this one's gonna be really good. It starts at 21, I've got it set at plus one D. 
So that's going to actually help me get uh, a little more, a um, little more height, a little more spin, and hopefully pair things back to where it's really flying consistently about 215. The other one wanted to go 225, 230, and that's just too similar to what the four wood is, and a little longer than I needed. So. Um, this golf club is really excellent. It's just come out from Cobra. Uh, we got a lot of technology going here. Uh, obviously with the tech name, you would expect that. Uh, we got some really nice carbon fiber, um, a lot of adjustability in this, right? So for a lot of people, hybrids have been a, a club that wants to go to the left. Well, you can swap some weights out here, make it so that it's very toe heavy. It will not uh, turn as much. Or you can, uh, if you need some help, you can you can get it so that it will turn. Uh, I do have this one set neutral. Uh, just gonna use a little bit of draw face. It's gonna change the lie angle a little bit for me here, and it really just sets very very nicely for me on the ground. Um, I cut all my fairway woods and hybrids down a little bit. I like really like a good feeling of control, so I do cut those things down. Uh, they're all a half inch uh, under standard. Um, iron wise, so these have been in the bag now for, for quite a while. Uh, this is Cobra's uh, King Tour Mim. Um, I went with the copper ones because I like things that look a little funky, right? So, um, big thing for me with irons is I'm so aesthetically driven that I have a very hard time with iron sets because I'm always going to nitpick and find something that I don't like. So I've gone through a lot of iron sets over the last little bit. Um, this set to me just looks exactly like what I want an iron to look like um, at a dress. Yeah, it's very clean. Um, it's a fairly good sized iron head for a player's club, which I like. A little more forgiveness. Goodness, we all need some forgiveness, right? And the big thing for me on, on irons, and I, it's again, it's just one of those it's just one of those things, uh, you know, going to my craziness, is it's this area right in through here, and the way the hosel transitions into the head of the golf club is what drives me crazy on, on a lot of golf clubs. So this set has everything that I want in terms of some forgiveness, some clean lines, and, and just a great shape all the way through. Matter of fact, I even like this guy. And I am notorious for not liking eight irons. It just always seems to be a transitional club for me. Um, seven iron looks good, nine iron looks good, eight iron looks like it just didn't know what the heck it wanted to do. So, um, these irons are in, they're gonna stay in. Uh, I've been very pleased with the performance, love the feel, love the look. Um, they've been really great. Um, to pair up with those, uh, I've got some of the new uh, snake bite wedges, which are really great for me. Now, I'm not a high spin guy, and, uh, and these things provide all the, all the bite that I'm looking for coming into the greens. Absolutely love it. So um, I did tune up my irons a little bit. I made them a degree stronger. So my seven iron, or sorry, my uh, pitching wedge is 44 degrees. So natural progression here is gonna be 48 in the gap wedge. Um, I get a little bit weird in that what I'm carrying for a sand wedge is 52 degrees, um, but that's what I need to cover the gaps. So, um, you know, I'm very pleased with these. Again, I really like the shape, um, feels very good. And then you get to the lob wedge. So this one's a different one, a little bit different one for me too. So it's 58 degrees. I do, I did crank it up a degree to 59 to get just a little bit more bounce on it. But this is my first really um, extensively used full face wedge. And this thing is just sick around the greens. I mean, it's just fantastic. Um, there really are performance benefits to having grooves going all the way across the face. Um, if you haven't tried it, give it a try. It really does add a little uh, extra dimension to what you can do with short game shots. Um, pretty much everybody's got one now too. So, um, you know, there's, there's lots of options out there. TaylorMade's got them. Callaway's got them. Cleveland's now releasing them. Cobra's got them. So, you know, everybody makes really good products. Um, don't shy away from trying, you know, anything really, cause it's all really good. Uh, but you know, in your lob wedge, mess around with one of these. I tell you what, it just really adds really some really nice dimension to it. All right, got one more club here. 
certainly one of my favorites. Um, I picked up about six weeks ago this Bobby Grace Ollie uh, that came in to, as a trade into the shop. Um, I'm a big fan of Bobby Grace putters. I always have been. Won the Pennsylvania State Open in 28 with one. And this is a little bit of a departure for me in that I've gone to a heavier toe hang putter here. You can actually see that, you know, toe hang on this is, is fairly strong. I've been using more of a, you know, mid toe hang or face balance putter over the last little while. So this one's a little bit different, but I really like the feel. Um, it's got really nice sight lines on it. Um, you know, it just, it's got a nice soft insert. He calls his insert HSM or hole seeking material. Dude, we all need hole seeking material. Seriously, uh -huh. golf course, that's that's exactly what we want. So um, one of the other characteristics the Bobby Graces that I really like is the fact that they do tend to come in a little bit heavier and I do like heavier putters. So oftentimes you'll see me with lead tape all over the bottom uh, trying to get that weight up, but uh, this one came in really, really nicely. So I haven't had to make any adjustments to it. Uh, I am rocking a Rosemark grip. Uh, I like the, the texture on the rose marks. Um, this is a 1.25. Uh, I will probably at some point go up to a 1.38. Um, this feels a little bit small in my hands, but I've been putting really well with it, so, you know, not going to make any changes there. So, that, my friends, is what the bag looks like for the U.S. Senior Open. Um, there will probably be a couple more changes coming over the, the in the coming weeks. Um, I did get a two hybrid to accompany the uh, the four here, uh, which puts the the four wood in a little bit of jeopardy. The only reason I'm considering dropping it is because I do hit it awfully far at times, and again, I need something that I can feel pretty good is going to fly, you know, two thirty for me. And what that may then require me to do is take the three wood and add some loft to it so I'm not um, quite as quite as long with it either. Um, I'm really not too worried about the off the tee thing. I'm going to hit it plenty far. Uh, if the four wood is, a, is a, a club that I can hit off the tee really well, I don't really have a problem with maybe scaling back the, the three wood a little bit and uh, putting a little more loft in it. For me at this point, it's really all about dialing in at the very high end of the bag those those yardages and uh you know look i've had these things in the bag a long time with, with the exception of the hybrid here and uh and they've they've been absolutely fantastic for me but i am a tinkerer and uh i'm always going to want to see if i can get something that's gonna you know perform a little bit better so that is where i'm at and uh you know, hey, look, I appreciate all of you following along. Um, there's going to be a really, really, really long conversation at the end of this U.S. Open. I've got a 17 and a half hour drive home. Um, what second swing we'll decide to do with that, probably they're going to want to break it up into segments. But uh, I have the feeling we're going to have a very long conversation because uh, I've got a lot to talk about on, on this. This has been an absolutely amazing experience. Um, it's challenging, challenging me in a lot of ways, and uh, and I think it's good. I really think it's good for me to be to be challenged this way. Uh, this is what I want to do. You know, I want to be able to compete at this level. So, thank you all. Uh, thank you to Second Swing for being just the most fabulous company ever. Thank you to Red Rooster for uh, taking on a, a guy that uh, you know. Um, they don't really know me very well. We haven't we haven't really talked a whole lot, um, but I, I appreciate the support there. Uh, I will I will do everything I can to help you guys out too. And uh, hey, everybody have a wonderful week. Watch some good golf on TV. And uh, hey, maybe you'll even ca catch a glimpse of me out there. All right, thanks, y'all. Be safe.